And welcome back to the NCAA Men's Basketball Championship Selection Show. Let's okay, now we go to the 7-10 matchups in Indianapolis on Friday. The seven seed, the Gators, who lead the nation in rebounding. And then here's where it gets interesting. Boise State and Colorado will wow. meet in Dayton on the 10 line. So Colorado bubble team played their way in with that win over Washington State. Well, there's a big sigh of relief when the Colorado Buffaloes came up on the screen on CBS for the NCAA Tournament Selection Show. And the Buffs are in. They play on Wednesday against Boise State in Dayton, Ohio. Hi, everybody. Voice of the Buffs, Mark Johnson, head coach Tad Boyle. Okay, you can breathe now. Yes, I can. <laughs> it's been a long day. I'll tell you what. It was a short night, long day, and uh, quick turnaround. Yeah. So uh, I knew this would be a possibility of playing on Wednesday, and, and we are. But uh, we're excited. You know, it's a new life. It's like being reborn. You said to the team afterward, you said, number one, be proud of yourself, and number two, it's not easy to get in this tournament. It is not easy. No, it's it's really not. I mean, if you don't get one of those uh, automatic qualifiers and win your conference tournament, you know, and we were right there. I mean, it, it with four minutes to go, it's a tie game, and, and we just didn't finish it out. Uh, Oregon did, to their credit. but uh, So we put ourselves in a position where our fate is in someone else's hands, and that's always a dicey situation. Uh, we've been on the other side of that, as you remember, uh, 14 years ago, which is no fun. So I was nervous. You know, the one thing, though, Ted, you talk about you know having your your future in your hand, if you will. This team took ownership of that during that eight-game winning streak to put you in this position. Absolutely. Yeah. You go back. Uh, you know, I told the team you go back to that locker room when we lost to UCLA in a really another one-possession, four-point game, and we were as as down as you could be. And and a day later, we regroup and we. Uh, we come back from 16 down at USC to win a double overtime game, and then, and then we got on a roll. And these guys have done it, and they've bought in, and they've, uh, they've dialed in uh, mentally and emotionally. And, and yesterday, last night, I should say, was a, was a uh, crushing defeat for us because we, we went to Las Vegas to win a championship. We came up short. But now we have a new life, and that's that's what uh, March is all about. It's March Madness, and it's just nice to be a part of it. Here's the good news, though. You and I were talking about this the past few days in Vegas. You've got a mature basketball team here. So even though there is this roller coaster of emotion yeah. down last night, up today, this is the kind of team that can handle that, don't you think? I think so. Yeah, I, I definitely do. And, and uh, you know, I saw – So I think our players were nervous. Yeah. You know, they, they read stuff and see stuff. And, you know, there's just so much uncertainty out there. But – you know, playing against a Boise State team is uh, – I've watched them a lot this year. They're very, very talented, very good. They're well coached. Uh, their coach is actually a good friend of mine. And uh, you hate playing friends, but, uh, yeah, I know he, he's going to want to beat us in, in, in Dayton and we're going to want to beat him. But uh, here we go. Yeah. It's going to strain that relationship, isn't it? Yeah, for, for a little <laughs> while. Well, there won't be a lot of chatter beforehand or, or maybe even afterwards. But uh, – uh, our friendship's more important than a game, I can tell you that. Now, this team has overcome so much this season. The good news is you're dealing with a team that's about as healthy as it's been in a long time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Julian's not quite back yet, but it's good to have Cody back. And, we're again, we're, we're, we're healthy. We've got our bench guys are starting to really come around, and have, I've got a lot of confidence in them. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's good to have uh, most of the hands on deck. Yeah. And everybody's dealing with injuries to some degree or another but it is a quick turnaround we've got to i think emotionally uh make sure we're ready to go on wednesday because uh you know boise got beat a little earlier in their tournament they've been at home resting uh, maybe a little bit more practice time than we have but uh it'll it'll you know it's game on when the NCAA tournament tips off man it's uh you got to give it your best shot. Well, what you don't think about is, is is you and the staff right now. You guys are scrambling. They're getting scouting reports done. I mean, yep. this becomes a whirlwind because there's a travel day tomorrow. Then you play on Wednesday. It becomes a whirlwind right now. It is a whirlwind. No, there's no doubt about it. And I just want our players to just, you know, again, they, we got back late last night. It's been a long day. They probably didn't sleep well last night. I know I didn't. So get a good night's sleep. Get a good day of practice tomorrow. Travel. And then Tuesday, some more prep work. And then Wednesday, here we go. You know what? This never gets old, does it? It never gets old. This is why you coach. This is why you play. This is why, you know, you're a part of college basketball. Tad Bull and the Buffaloes in the NCAA tournament. They'll take on Boise State in Dayton, Ohio on Wednesday. And then the other side of that bracket, the winner will take on Florida in Indianapolis. That'll wrap up this week's Buffalo Stampede. The Buffs are dancing. We'll talk to you next time.